Hey guys, welcome back to the Canova YouTube channel. We're sponsored by Ship Your Reptiles, and today we have an incredible video for you about the Monsoon Project. We're gonna show you some brand new combos, some adult combos, and then a compatibility update between the Moray and the Monsoon Projects, which I know a lot of you have questions about. Let's jump right in. So we're gonna start with a regular monsoon, and this project was actually started by Dave Green. I remember the first time I saw one of these, I was actually in South Africa on a trip, and I saw the drop of the first monsoons. Amazing, amazing, hatched out of nowhere from the Crystal Project, the Mojave Project. What incredible jolt it gave the ball python industry. That was years and years ago. I got my mail from Dave, and he's growing up, he's amazing. Let's check him out. So monsoons are extremely busy pattern. You can see that right off the bat. They're just covered in speckles. It's hard to explain, you can just see it there. It's like a pinstripe without any stripes. It's just speckling everywhere. It's really, really cool. They have very unique heads as well with extremely thin eye stripes. They have full eye stripes. They're extremely thin and they're down towards the sides of the head. They're not really on top of the head like a lot of eye stripes from ball pythons. It's a unique look. It almost looks like a venomous adder kind of look with those, uh, those stripes and that head pattern. It's a neat look. Love the craziness. So one of the big questions of this project is what can we do with the pattern? And so far we've had just a few combos that have been made and they've pretty much left the pattern intact. So we have a lot to kind of learn about how we can take this pattern and mix it up a lot. So this next one is a Mojave Monsoon and actually the very first Monsoon ever made was a Mojave Monsoon. I told you it came out of the Crystal Project and actually I think the Mojave Monsoon is actually the best looking Monsoon combo to date in my opinion, is just very classic because again, the very first one was this, but we kind of hit peak monsoon as of now, right in the very first one, because the Mojave, it changes the color, but it kind of thickens out the pattern so that you can actually see that incredible, almost like a maze inside the animal. It really changes it a lot and adds it to the contrast. So that's really what we're looking for in this. As the animal gets older as well, it tends to open up the pattern. You can see all the intricacies throughout the snake. So this girl looks like a blood python. She is so thick. Uh, we have a pastel Mojave monsoon and the pastel really kind of bleaches out the top of the animal. I don't think it's the best combo. I think the pastel monsoons without Mojave will actually look better. Um, but the combination of Mojave and pastel kind of mushes it out a little bit. It's still very, very pretty, the golden kind of back, but then you still have those monsoon patterns on the side. It's a neat look. This girl has actually just became gravid. Um, we put her into the Enhancer Stripe Clown. I don't think G-Stripe with the monsoon makes any sense, but of course Clown and definitely the Enhancer or DG genes makes total sense. It's one of the most exciting parts of the uh, monsoon to me is to put the Desert Ghost in there or some of these color patterns. Like can you imagine the Monarch Monsoon, Ultramel Monsoon, of course Lavender, and then Desert Ghost. Desert Ghost is gonna be where it's at. I can't wait. So there's the Monsoon, of course, which is the American version, but then a couple years ago, Irez Reptiles made the Moray gene, which he hatched out of his stranger stock, and it, it looks to be basically exactly the same as Monsoon. And so, like I said, it came out of the stranger stock. So I went back to some of my stranger stock, and I bred it into my Monsoons, and I have actually proven now that Moray and Monsoon are compatible, which is not unexpected at all. They basically look the same, and now we just proven that they are completely compatible. So what we have here is a stranger moray monsoon. So it's, so it's basically a monsoon or a moray together, those two genes together, plus stranger. Now, unfortunately, stranger is such a dark and strong gene that it has completely wiped out the pattern. We have a little bit of a stripe going here, but essentially you can see on the edging there a little bit of the monsoon or the moray coming through, but essentially, to me, this is not the best combo with the stranger because you're losing all that amazing pattern. That's what the moray or monsoon is all about is that amazing pattern. We wanna keep it, we wanna augment it. So this animal in the end just be kind of became a case study in compatibility between the monsoon and the moray. Now we know whatever line you have, we know they're completely compatible. As you try to mix those animals together, you're gonna to end up with some awesome monsoon type animals. Okay guys, here's the brand new combo we just made. If you wanted to follow on Patreon, we did the clutch cutting on Patreon. This is the Mojave Leopard Monsoon. So 
hiding in my hand here. We'll show this animal in a second, but it looks like the Mojave leopard het right next to it there. It's actually 66% het monsoon and 50% het DG. And we ended up with a whole clutch of them, but we did get one insane new monsoon combo. This is the leopard Mojave monsoon. And you end up with kind of the best of both worlds. You have all that amazing contrast from the Mojave. Check out those sides. The leopard makes it far more busy than just the Mojave monsoon. You end up with an extremely complex pattern, much, much more contrast, much smaller spots. Um, I think it's an amazing effect. So I'll give a shout out to Billy Rose of Mutation Creation who made the first leopard monsoon. Man, it's probably been a year and a half, almost two years ago. And uh, I was really impressed with that one. And it's cool to see the Mojave layered onto there. It definitely adds to the project, I think. It definitely adds to that combo. So the exciting thing again is that this is also 50% Het Desert Ghost. And so I would love to see all the light parts in here get just blown bright with Desert Ghost and have that amazing contrast. It's gonna be one of the most insane double recessives out there, I think, when we finally make the Monsoon Desert Ghost combos. So I've mentioned on another video, but the Het Monsoons actually do have a, quite a visual Het to them. By that I mean that even though they're heterozygous, you can actually see some markers in the heads that kind of give you an idea if they're going to prove to be het monsoon. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. So when I was showing you the monsoons earlier, we talked about how low and narrow their eye stripes are. And the funny thing is, is that's to me one of the universal things that comes through in the heads. Now just in general, I think that a lot of the het monsoons tend to be kind of funky looking, but that's going to really change combo to combo just depending on what's in it. So I can't be like, well, they all have this or they all have that. And generally speaking on markers, they don't all have anything. But one thing I've noticed is that het monsoons have extremely wide and narrow eye stripes, just like the visuals. So this het, you see the difference between them here, this het has far, far narrower eye stripes, see here on the side, and also they're further down the head. So when you look on from above, you can almost not even see them. They kind of go down so far onto the side of the head. And that's just a good sign that this animal, even though it's 66% head monsoon, that's a great sign that it would actually prove when we breed it. So just a little indicator to look for if you're some, finding some that are pos head, kind of watch for those eye stripes, watch for narrower, lower ones, because it's probably a good com answer compatibility. If you want to check out my Patreon, we actually go through a lot more examples of this side by side, looking at those markers and how to identify them. There's a lot to learn. We're all kind of learning together over there. Guys, that's it. TLDR is an awesome project. We're really excited about the future of it. Monsoon and Moray are officially compatible, and we have a lot to look forward to on this awesome, awesome project. Big thank you to all the Patreons, and make sure to check out the Monsoon video we have on there. It helps a lot if you could tell a Poshet Monsoon from a normal. That could save you a lot of time and the money down the road. So check that out. Thanks a lot. See you next time.